Hi, happy Taroween. Today for Spooktember Taroween, I'm doing my version of a poison ivy makeup. Please ignore it <laughs> from the neck down. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I created this look, keep watching. <sighs> Alright, so on today's journey, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to an ivy look. Um, as you can tell, I don't have a wig on right now. I have two different wigs that neither of them are like the correct color. And I don't have a costume. So this is kind of showing you how if you don't have everything you think you need for a poison ivy costume. How you can maybe, hopefully I'll show you how to use makeup to um, do a whole look. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. All right, let's get started. So I love Poison Ivy, the comic book version, all the versions really. Doing my Poison Ivy research, I discovered that the one that I want to try to recreate today is the Poison Ivy Hush version from the comics. So um, she does have green skin, a green tint, a strong green tint, and goes from like a dark red lip some a lot of comics have her with a green lip so i'm gonna see how it looks um some have with like a deep red lip so we'll just see how she evolves but let's begin with the skin um obviously if you want to be fully prepared you would buy green skin paint in a cream or a water-based like the chroma cake which i only have in white which is not going to help me today so i have this um, it's a dupe of the Flash Palette by Makeup Forever. I only recommend the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. This in the past has me to break out in a rash. So I'm always taking a chance when I use this, which I would not recommend to others. That being said, I'm about to dig in. So um, the color I want, I want to very much avoid a Shrek vibe. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with like this neon greeny green color and I may just start building with her let's see what happens I'm gonna take a big old chunk of her put it on my palette let's see how she looks on the skin like I said I don't want to look like Shrek <laughs> so um or even Fiona for that matter my skin's supposed to be this way because of chlorophyll in my blood. And if it looks too crazy, <laughs> we'll add some other stuff. Now, if I was actually gonna wear this out like as a costume, I would definitely go all out and paint my entire body. <laughs> so right now I'm looking very much like the Hulk, but I'm also keeping in mind that we're going to be layering and highlighting and contouring. I'm also going to give her a little spritz. Maybe I'll try a little bit of this darker green just mixed in with what I have left here just for some 
some contours, see what happens. Let's just see. I mean, we are going to be putting layering shadows on here and highlights in powdered form, so don't judge her yet. Oh yeah, that looks very botanical. Oh yeah, that was very pretty. Let's use this brush. Just take a little bit of that. Let's just get a little bit of that cream contour. That's just a hair darker. And that crease. Start giving that Shrek face a little bit of dimension. Because there are many characters throughout books and cinema who are green, <laughs> who are not sexy, seductive seductresses I can't even talk today so you want to make sure that your color selection says sultry poison ivy and not ogre unless you're going for ogre In which case, ogre it up. But if you're not, you definitely want to make sure that your look doesn't accidentally read as ogre. At the moment, I think it's wisest to powder. And for this, I'm gonna use my Fenty Pro Filter in Lavender. It has served me well so far in these character looks. And I don't have Ben Nye Super White. Also, would use that. like you're diving. <gasps> I think a good next move to kind of see where we're at is eyebrows. And I've been trying to decide between green or red. I think a green brow may look a little too wicked. So we're just going to go for it. Some of the comics have her with a red-headed brow and some have her with a dark green brow. And to be honest, I find that the ones with the dark green brow do look to me like Elphaba. That's my personal feelings. And I think since it's comics, maybe we should go bright red. Or like a reddish burgundy. Let's try and see how it goes. So first I'm gonna use this Anastasia Brunette brow gel because it says brunette but it is kind of gingery and I like to use the very tip because it really does hold the most see that the most product and then I'll take a brush preferably a brow brush if you have one on hand and you can use that to draw that brown mascara into place wherever you'd like it now the Anastasia brow products are a little metallic see that it, like reflects the light which is actually quite pretty for a character I believe that's because like real hair reflects light 
and they're not really meant to smear on so thick like this. They're supposed to coat your hairs, but I like them for both. So I'm using these to like draw the base of the brow. It's a little messy right now, whatever. And then I'm gonna take, there's these two shadows by NARS New York. This is Persia, New York, Persia, New York. I'm gonna dip it a little into Persia, a little into New York, and just start filling this in. Time to highlight and contour this baby. All right, this one called is a party. I'm gonna scoop some of that up. See how that looks here. Hmm, not great. <laughs> so everybody says not great. All right, let's try Mean and Halter. This is Urban Decay. Do it, do. So I'm gonna try a little bit of Mean. So at this point, I'm just trying to like create some dimension in this strange skin color I've created. <laughs> in the hopes that that will make it look a little more real. All right, let's go a little darker. Let's get a little bolder. I think we're gonna go into this NARS Mad Mad World, this one. Let's see what happens. Let's try it first here, somewhere we can stand to have a little intensity. I'm gonna use this brush for that again. So it doesn't get too crazy. Gazing at the ocean, I dream of your return. The mountains of life is where my heart resides. So I am trying to create contour so that it looking like I mean everyone knows this makeup <laughs> but this character I don't want her to look like ooh why have eyeshadow on because in this form she's just naturally seductive because of her ability to seduce I'm just adding a little bit to the corners of the eye of green and blending it out. I 
I do think choosing another color would be a good idea. And I've used orange on the brows, just the orange and the green together. Do read a little track. So we need to start incorporating something else. That's not going to give Shrek vibes. <laughs> I may revisit this purple that I've used for all the other characters. We'll see what happens. If it goes terribly, then okay. So I'm just going to do a little fluffy brush. Just call here. Call me crazy. I'm feeling like we need to cool this down. And how we're going to do that is a little zany for a poison ivy look, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try some browns, purples, and grays and see what happens. If it looks terrible, then whatever. <laughs> this is called New York by NARS. Just gently. I'm just needing this to look a little more sultry and a little less like a kid's birthday party. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, coming along quite nicely. Okay, this one is called Bali by NARS. It's broken, <laughs> but it still works like a charm. It's like a gray brownie. A little bit more of New York, a little bit more of Bengali, all by NARS. And I'm just, you know, shading in these eyes so that they kind of look more like dirt. <laughs> That's my inspiration. It's like pretty dirt. Because after all, it is kind of like a play of Mother Nature and the swamp thing and all that jazz. So instead of like a glamorous um, green eyeshadow, I think it's more appropriate if it's like gray browns it seems to look better <laughs> and look more appropriate okay let's get this brush help blend it out a little Take this brush, NARS, and dip her into 
New York, and Bengali. Blend it out a little bit. I'm going to try something. Again, it's a little crazy. I'm going to take a little, yeah, am I? A little orgasm. No, get your minds out of the gutters. Okay, a little orgasm, a little Taj Mahal. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> Just tip a scope to beach. <laughs> All right, let's take this. Is this so minty? All right, let's try it. A little brush. I don't know. Let's just see what happens, okay? I don't like the yellow that I put under here, so. Let's neutralize that. All right, I'm gonna take the white because this is crazy. <laughs> the white, maybe a little bit of the green. And let's see how this goes. There's so much blue in there. All right, we have two MAC pigments, one that's teal, one antique green. We'll see what happens. Let's try antique green, teal, antique green, teal. Let's open them both and hopefully nothing knocks them over. All right, this is teal. I mean, this is gonna sound really stupid and obvious, but I forget how pigmented the mag pigments are. I mean, they're literally called pigments. Yeah, these are good because they're like green, but not like bam. Okay, I need this one dipping into the antique. Green and teal. Since I am basing mine off of an animated comic, if I end up looking like some creature I just invented. That's okay too. Be willing 
to make some new shit up. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Doing the hokey pokey and turning yourself about. I want to put white. White is like my go-to. Get that popping right here. I'm gonna grab my trusty little bing bong. It's a technical term for Pat McGrath shadows. We're gonna go in here just because I really love these colors. And yes, I'm going over the green I just made just for a little more depth. It's okay though. <laughs> a little liner might be a good idea. I'm going to try this La Diamond Jewel Eyeliner if it's not dried up. Let's see what happens. When people stop being polite and start getting real. <laughs> this is like a very imprecise way to do it. But Whatever. And this liner is from a drugstore. Um, just a little green glitter liner. So you can find anything similar, it doesn't have to be that one. It doesn't even have to be glittery. <laughs> I just used something that's kind of dark and would create a little wing, but not a super wing. I'm gonna go in with this orgasm again, just because I'm feeling feisty. I feel like it does give me, I don't know. Maybe it takes me a little more into like nymphs category. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this white liner. You can use any one. This one is Urban Decay. Just to make the eyes look a little bigger, more comic-y. I have two green liners. This one's Skin Liner by Cryolin. Whatever. <laughs> we also have this Art Liner by Lancome. I really love this one. It's super pretty green. It's like sparkly. I mean at this point I'm just like putting things on to in the hopes that I will be happy with what I've done. Because <laughs> ah, right now I'm not. I'm going to take my little brush and use some of these eyeshadows to like do a little lip contour to see if maybe I can decide. We have this fabulous voluminous deep green by L'Oreal. I think we'll try that. Because why not? So first we'll curl the lashes. Voluminous L'Oreal primer. All right, let's try this green mascara. I've never used it. I mean, I've used this brand, but not this color. Wow, that dries.
Yeah, red lips are the way to go. That's my vote. This is Jungle Red by NARS, my favorite. Now this is Makeup Forever Full Red 714, professional artist, oh sorry, it says artist color pencil, not professional. So you can use this anywhere, like you could even use it. This is from Pink Zio D008. I used the last half for the alien look. And this is the remaining half. A. Let's see how much use we can get out of this one pair of lashes. The other half I threw away as they were covered in alien skin color. <laughs> Scoop up that glue. These are quite thick, so they do need a decent amount of glue. I mean, it's not like I'm doing a show after this, but still. Okay, now I'm gonna take two more MAC pigments. We have two of my favorites, Reflex Gold and Reflex Transparent Teal. So I'm gonna use these as like highlights as my lashes dry, hopefully. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, dip it just in the lid first. I don't need to go crazy. an extra large deposit of this in the inner corners. This product always reminds me of like under the sea because it literally like looks like an underwater mermaid princess. So I just suddenly got a Beetlejuice vibe from this look. Not of Beetlejuice, but one of the girls from the waiting room. Alright, so that's the Reflex Transparent Teal. It's very fab. <laughs> now, the Reflex Gold. This is not Reflex Transparent. So it's not transparent. But we can do a little See how it shows gold. Let's try a wing on and then see if we need anything else. I mean, I knew it was gonna be hard to do a beautiful look with green skin, unless you're friggin' Craig Jessup, aka Brie Love. But I needed to try it because I do prefer poison ivy with green skin. So just one more disclaimer. <laughs> this would be better if my wig was more orangey red, but I'm not great at choosing wigs. So if you'd like to send me some links to Amazon wigs to put on my wish list, this one was purchased for me by the sweet and fabulous Desiree, aka Possum Nose. So, thank you for making this possible. <laughs> so I chose this wig, but it's probably more burgundy than it should have been. All right, let's just do a little Lady Danger Ruby Woo in MAC Red. 
so this is Ruby Woo. Very deliciously dry. Put her in the middle. Then I'm gonna go in with some Lady Danger. Her. Mac Red. Miss Ivy. So there you go. <laughs> I will most likely be doing more Poison Ivy looks that are perhaps quicker and easier, creating some Poison Ivy pieces for your costumes. I hope you liked this. Thank you for watching.